Hey guys, Joe here from The Fantastic Life. Today, as promised, I'm gonna give you a review of the clean waste suitcase portable toilet that we've been using for about a year now in the fantastic life first things first the toilet itself is about 80 dollars at rei and you can get 12 of these disposable clean waste packages for 35 dollars i'm gonna explain how everything works we're going to take it all the way from a to z for you without giving you the fun stuff you can use your imagination for that for the toilet, it's actually really nice and light, and you can just carry this thing around with you into, let's say, one of those little pop-up tent things, or what we do is we just take it and walk into the woods somewhere out there where hopefully we're not gonna be seen by a hot air balloon or somebody driving by, but it's been really nice to just be able to go. It packs up into our where our storage slash shower area is, so we hardly ever have to even see it unless it's gonna be in a place like this where we don't wanna leave any kind of a waste or as places are starting to tell you that you can't dig holes, this is gonna be awesome. Not to mention the other reason that we got this toilet is because these packages, you can use them like wag bags and throw them into any garbage can. It says it all over there that that is totally cool to do. So you essentially get to pack it in pack it out, toss it away, it's very easy. So how does this toilet work? Once you get to your location, you're going to flip it around and you're gonna pop these legs out into a tripod. Then you're gonna set the toilet down on the ground and you're going to pop open the lid. So there's your toilet base. You wanna make sure that this net here is going to be covering all of the catchable items that you're gonna drop in there. Then this bag comes into play, and this is essentially what it looks like. You're gonna rip it open, and you're gonna have a few more bags in here. The first bag that you're gonna be working with is the outside disposable bag. And what I do is I just start putting things in there, including this bag that I just opened up. Then you're going to open it up further and you're gonna have the bag that you're gonna do your business in, as well as a couple of hand sanitizers and this little useless piece of toilet paper. I don't know who can get their business done with this little teeny piece of toilet paper, but we carry a whole nother roll, roll with us whenever we're using this thing. And, and I usually have a place to wash my hands. So for me, I'm gonna take these right away and unfortunately those are gonna be disposable from the start and then those go into the bag. Like I said, I'm using it how we've been using it for several uses now. You may wanna use those things, but because we have the van right here, like I said, washing the hands, using regular toilet paper, that's how, how we roll. Then you're gonna take this guy and it has some nice solidification crystals in there, whatever that good goodness is. And you're gonna put it down into the toilet, making a nice, ring around the rosy of the toilet here, giving yourself a lot of space. And then from there, you're when you're ready and feeling comfortable with how everything looks, you're just going to plop yourself down, doing a very nice air squat, do your business, enjoy the view hopefully where you're at. Then you're gonna stand on up. You're gonna take this, wrap it up, tie it in a knot right here. Then when you're done, you will put this guy back into the bag. You will seal this bag up, put the air out, and then you have your disposable bag ready to go. While we're talking about it, this bag, although it seems like it's airtight, it's not airtight, so we'd recommend that you're going to be holding this thing either in another airtight bag or someplace outside of your vehicle because we learned the hard way that these things will stink up your vehicle if you just leave them in there by themselves. So have a system for that. A box on the back of your rig would be an ideal place or something that you have on the top. Make a note that you don't wanna leave it outside all the time because critters will get into this. We haven't had it happen, but it's not something that we wanna deal with and we don't want you to deal with it either. I should also note how we are going to close this guy up because it is a little bit of a dislike of the whole product. Up until this point, it's super cool, works really well. We highly recommend it. But something to note, and maybe if the manufacturer is watching, something that they could fix, is that you're gonna get done with the toilet, 
you snap that close, good to go. Then you're gonna turn it around here, and this is where kind of our issues or gripes be come into play with this system. Because of how these little latches are stuck into place without any handles or any way of easily popping those things up, you really have to wrench it over into the right spot and then snap it down. And we both have pinched fingers from this process, so you get used to it, but it does definitely become an issue if you are not very careful. Especially on this last piece where you have to do it on both sides, you can really easily pinch your finger and when you're getting everything taken care of. But that is how it works. Make a note when you're putting it together or putting it back together, that you're careful with your fingers. Otherwise you will be definitely le left with some blood blisters, which is not fun for anyone. The situations that we use this in are, like I said, areas that we are not able to just dig a hole or we don't think it's a good idea. So that is not all the time. That is very few and far between times because we found that it's not hard to find places to go to the bathroom, even when you're living this van life. But the circumstances that it is nice to have it and we're going to be using it. We probably use it about, I don't know, 20 times, 30 times a year. So it's not that often. And then lastly, I wanted to say is for these waste bags that we have here, there are certain places like in Moab that have specific places that you should or they would like you to dump these. And it's just a wag bag disposal can, if you will. It just says it all over there. So. Note that, make sure that you're using these things responsibly, make sure you're going to the bathroom responsibly and help keep nature nice for everybody. So that is the clean and waste toilet. We do recommend it even though it's hard to close up. Uh, probably even a kid wouldn't be able to do it. They could easily add some leverage points on there to make that easier for everybody to use because it doesn't need to be so stuck into place. I don't think that you know, you're gonna fall over either way, but we still recommend it. It's, it's great, we're gonna continue using it. It's efficient for giving you the ability to pack it in and pack it out. If you have any questions about any of this, let us know. We're gonna put all the links down below so you can link directly to this particular product and it always helps us if you click through our links. We really appreciate you doing that. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, we're gonna keep on coming out with videos that have to do with van life, mountain biking, snowboarding, all that fun stuff that we are doing, working out. So we appreciate you, we appreciate you watching. Hope you found this video interesting and it will help you out in your van lifing or camping adventures. All right guys, cheers, see ya.